hello uh, good day folks in this video I'm uh, going to install Active Directory on Windows Server uh, 2012 release 2 and I have downloaded a trial a license or trial copy of Windows 2012 release 2 and uh, I have installed in my VMware and uh, now I'm going to install Active Directory and the certificate uh, service here so the first thing I need to make sure my uh, time zone is properly set because uh, if we are doing a uh, Kerberos authentication with this the time should be in sync so here I change the time zone to my time zone the Chennai Kolkata and uh, if you are using uh, your uh, different time zone change that and use all your systems in the network with the same time zone and date so the second thing uh, you need to uh, uh, configure your firewall because uh, all other client machine or the servers, other servers has to connect and to get the Kerberos and uh, Active Directory details. So uh, I I just uh, doing at uh, configuration like I, I I don't want to uh, turn on my firewall, so I'm just uh, doing it in turn off, just uh, shutting down my firewall service. Then. Uh, the next thing I need to do is change my host name. So go to the properties, then uh, advanced system settings, and uh, I need to uh, give him name. So I'm just changing this name as AD. That's it. So after that, it uh, I need to uh, reboot my system because this host name change and other thing has to reflect. So I'm just uh, going to restart my system now. Okay, so let me uh, log into this server. Alt Control Insert, then provide the password. So it has to start the server manager. So once the server manager is uh, loaded, so you can just select this Add Roles and Features. Okay. Then next. So use the role based feature installation or then select the machine k default then active directory domain services then add the feature continue then next next then restart automatically if required yes install so this will install active directory the domain services packages so once the installation has finished so you have to close this and uh, do the configuration. Okay, so again, it, it uh, takes some time. So the installation normally takes some time, uh, maybe a few minutes. Okay, so now uh, the installation has completed. Let me close this and uh, you can see some uh, notification here. Just check why because we have not we just installed uh, this component, so we have to do the configuration. So promote this into domain service. So here you have you can see the three options to add a new forest, add a domain to existing forest, add a domain controller to existing domain because I don't have any other uh, servers available so, I mean as, a, as my domain so this is my a new server and I am add, uh, selecting this add new forest and my domain name I am selecting as hadoop.com so you can change it any name you can use so that's it uh, so uh, it will take some time so it will create a new forest and the uh, domain name is hadoop.com so you can choose the password any password you can set here then next
okay so we can next netbios name okay so then uh, choose the default one next so again it take uh, some time because the prerequisites checked but you may get some warning so some most of the warnings you can ignore here but if you are doing it in a protection uh, installation so you need to address that but here my intention is to just just check the integration with uh, a different HTTP components okay so uh, you can see some warnings here but you can ignore and uh, install it so that is completed uh, I think uh, once that is completed so it is doing a, a restart uh, by by default so that's it uh, my active directory domain uh, service components has installed and uh, so next I can uh, create organization units and the users in that so next thing uh, what we need uh, is certificate uh, authority so we already installed active directory uh, use uh, domain services so you can select this active directory users and computers and add users group and organization units etc so now I'm adding one more role okay then next so role based select the default then uh, here so active directory certificate services add feature then continue select certification authority then uh, restart needed then install okay so installation may take uh, some time so after that so we need to do the configuration so installation is completed so once it is completed then if you go here you can see some warning icon why because we have not configured certificate services just select that then uh, okay choose the administrator yes I am selecting the administrator then select certification authority continue then select enterprise CA then uh, root CA so create new private key then uh, select the default SHA1 and uh, this one RSA and 2048 that's it and uh, this also I'm selecting the default then validity so how many years you need uh, the validity for this certificate so I'm selecting the default 5 so again if you can uh, uh, increase this value then continue selecting the default uh, then uh, select configure then close so that's it I have installed uh, domain services as well as the certificate uh, services that's it I can uh, restart my uh, system now so now everything is done okay so I can just do a reboot and my uh, system is uh, ready for uh, I mean deployment uh, so that uh, my HTTP uh, can start using this uh, Kerberos service uh, as well as uh, for LDAP authentication.